Hey guys! Hey guys! Ah, so good to be back with you all! It feels like I haven't filmed a tutorial in forever. It's been two and a half months, but it feels like a lifetime. And I have missed talking with you guys and everything. And because I have been away, I'm not sure if all of you would know, but I have been travelling for the last like two and a half months around Europe, which has been amazing. But I have actually brought like a makeup kit with me, so I thought I would share with you tips and tricks on how I've been doing my makeup, like my makeup routine, what I packed, like the brushes I used, and the products I brought with me, just the bare essentials, so that you don't have this massive, massive bag of makeup lugging around with you if you're travelling as well. So, yeah, I'll share with you tips and tricks on that. If you're interested, please stay watching. Ooh, these brows do need a bit of taming. Two and a half months has not done them well. <laughs> so basically, this has been my little travel bag. It's actually super cute and petite. So you can see all through it, the brushes and products that I brought with me. All bare essentials. Um, I did bring a couple of double ups, just in case like I was running out of one product I thought I'd need to make sure I have another of those products, if that makes sense. Anywho, basically I did bring minimal brushes, so I'll show you the brushes that I feel are essential when travelling, like any like tools, products, anything like that that you aren't aware or are not sure what to bring, I'll sum it up for you, hun. So as you guys can see, I have a couple of spots. Actually, my skin has been literally so good while I've been away. It's been so nice to have the lola skin, but as I, you can see, it is breaking out in the last few days, especially when I was like camping. So this is going to be like a little chit chat video. I'll let you know what I got up to and like the things I did as well as showing you my routine. So it's just kind of like a catch up, a little chit chat catch up with you guys. I have, like I said, missed you all so, so much and I'm so excited to like get back into filming again. So basically what I would do is I would cleanse my skin if I was bothered. I know sometimes I wasn't, which isn't that great, but I mean, I was traveling around. Sometimes just don't feel like it. So if I did cleanse, then I would cleanse and moisturize before I do my makeup. Otherwise, I'd just go straight in off the bat and I'd take my primer. I use my Urban Decay Self-Adjusting Complexion Primer. And basically, all I would do is just whack it over my forehead and my skin, all that jazz. And I'm just like applying it to my more troublesome areas. So like... My forehead isn't really that troublesome, but you can see my little blemishes and stuff. So if I had a fair bit of blemishes or things that I want to hide, I'd place more of the product there. And as you can see, I do like little warrior stripes because I feel like it's the perfect thing to like blur out pores and things. Like it's literally the best primer and for traveling. I feel like it's an all-in-one, so it helps reduce any oiliness on my face. As I am oily, it helps blur out my pores, even up my skin. It just does the whole job. It's just so handy. Now, I did bring my Skindinavia Primer Spray. This is because my Urban Decay like setting spray was running out, and I thought if I needed to, I could use this to like set my makeup in place. I know it's a primer spray, but I feel like it does the job as well. But what I was actually using it for was like to set my face, to make sure that it locked all the makeup in place, and it just stayed flawless for as long as possible, especially through like the heat of summer. I was like, I was like really hot, so I was like sweating a little bit. So this really helped just kind of keep it locked in for all those clubbing nights, all those long days traveling around, wanting to look your best, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I literally just do like a few sprays like that, you know, here and there, just nothing, no rhyme or reason to it. I just spray it on and that would just let it sink in for like a little bit. Okay, so the next step I would go in is with my foundation. I didn't actually always wear foundation. Most of the time I would just use concealer and just spot conceal and use it under my eyes like I did in a previous tutorial, which is up here. But I think for the you know purpose of this tutorial and also because I did use it for like more glam times, like for more of like when I want to look more glam, like clubbing or if you know I was going out and like to a fancy lunch. I don't know if I wanted to look more done up. I hope it's still my shade, like I was using it around, I didn't really have another colour with me, so even if though this is extremely light, like, guys, I tanned up so much on holidays. So basically what I did is just like put a lot of bronzer on with it to kind of try and hide the fact that this is like 10 shades too light. <laughs> so I'm going in with my Ready, City, Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Oil Free Foundation. Basically my CoverGirl foundation that I've used previously. I don't know why I had to say the full name. You guys know my foundation. 
So I went in with this one and I just applied it kind of minimally on my face. Like I didn't want to use too much. I'm not a fan of like the cake face lately. I've actually been really loving just the minimal amount. But like in saying that, I have missed wearing like a full face of makeup, like the eyes and everything like that. Like I miss doing eye makeup. Like I haven't done that in like two months, like ten weeks, guys. Like it's been a long time. So I, will, I can't wait to get like into the dramatic eye looks again. Anyways, I also put a little bit extra on my hand <clears throat> so that I can just bring some on if I need a bit extra coverage. So basically when I was on holidays, guys, me and my twin sister spent most of our time in Greece. We did travel around Croatia. We were accidentally, I didn't even realise we'd be there, but we were there for like the World Cup. Oh my gosh, I can't even explain to you. That was the most amazing experience of my life. Like the atmosphere was incredible. I can't, I just, I feel so blessed to have been, I had experienced that opportunity. Like to be with Croatia for the first time in the final. Like, was amazing. I'm using a sheer coverage. I don't want anything too full on or caked on, especially for like daytime wear. It's more just to even out the tone. Like, I'll go in with concealer afterwards and kind of um, put more coverage on those areas. So, we, like I said, we we're going around Croatia. Um, I went to Plitvis Lakes, Zagreb, went down to Split, and I was there for Ultra. Oh, that was amazing. Like, I think my highlight for that was definitely like um, the chain smokers, marshmallow. Um, who else? Is there? there was so many other bit artists, but like those two were definitely like a massive highlight. Plus, like I felt like all the artists there were incredible. I loved Lost Kings; they were so good. Um, Steve Aoki, I think that's how you say his name. He was incredible. Oh, like so many incredible artists there. So that was incredible. I like, had the best best time uh, and we also like went around Dubrovnik as well <clears throat> I'm not I actually haven't watched Game of Thrones but I had a lot of people commenting like um, the King's Land I always say that a lot of people commenting like the King's Landing area that I was on so I'm I must have been there because I didn't know where that was but I mean I walked around the old town wall which was so cool and it's just so beautiful like the town itself is so stunning so I just got a really light coverage on. It's not too bad. I mean, from here it looks like it matches me. But if I was like to show you the rest of my body, it would probably wouldn't match me that much. Oh, we're just gonna roll with it. So next I'm actually going to go in and <laughs> oops. So next I'm gonna go in and bronze. I know I do that before my concealer, just because I conceal up. Uh yeah, just because I conceal up afterwards. I was thinking about doing it before, but no, nah, we'll do it now. So basically. <laughs> Basically, I'm just going to apply it to like the perimeters of my face. This is the Hula Quickie Contour Stick, by the way. Um, basically, just applying it to the perimeters of my face, forehead. I love the sun kiss look on the nose. I'd kind of contour a bit with it as well because I didn't bring any contour powder with me. I know, shocking. I love a good contour, but when I was away, I was like liking, like I said, the more natural look and because I was in the sun all the time I was just loving being super bronzed and I'd also bring some down my neck to kind of tie in the fact that I have a super light foundation and then I'd go in with the same beauty sponge and just blend it in so we also spent our time in Greece as well so I spent about like I'd say two of the two and a half months um, we were there or just under two um, in Greece because we spent a month and a bit traveling around the islands. I did a little like Kentucky tour. So we did like Greek islands like Eos, Santorini, and Mykonos. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. And then we did um, Paros and Naxos by ourselves. Just because we wanted to do a couple of the extra islands before we went to Croatia. And they were like on the top, island top islands to visit um, on TripAdvisor. And they were so beautiful. If you want, you guys can check out my profile. I have an actual, like, personal account. I'll put down here. But basically, I thought I'd post a lot on my makeup account. But then I thought I'd keep that more to my makeup. And then I just post on my personal account. And then after we travelled to Paris and Naxos, we also did a month in Resmino. And that was the most, I think that was the definite highlight. 
Like that was the most incredible experience. So me and my sister have always been super passionate about the environment. We really always wanted to contribute and try and really help. It's in a really rough stage at the moment and I want to do my best, like do my part to try and help the environment as much as possible. So we volunteered um, for a month in uh, the sea turtle conservation program. So yeah, we were doing a sea turtle conservation program. So what that involved was like us monitoring and collecting data, helping guide them to sea. I was, I was part of the Archelon Sea Turtle Protection Society of Greece. It was incredible guys, like I cannot highly recommend it. If you are interested, I'll definitely leave the um, website down below if you're really passionate about the environment. I want to help it, help out at the same time. Plus, I got to travel around Greece while I was there, so it was such an incredible experience. Like, I just cannot highly recommend doing something like contributing in some way that's more uh, bigger than yourself. If that makes sense. Like, I know as like human beings, we can get quite caught up with what's going on in our lives. It's all about us, us, us. Like, even I tend to again, I like, get kind of get into that mindset of like, oh, this is happening to me. Blah 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 blah. Like, it's you know. The, we get caught up in all selfish things, I guess that's how I'm kind of putting it, but like doing something that's bigger than yourself, like contributing in such a high way, like it's so fulfilling, I just can't express to you like how gratifying, like humbling and beautiful the experience is, it's just, oh. So next I go in with my concealer, sometimes I would conceal, sometimes I wouldn't conceal under my eyes, like I usually just do blemishes and things, I don't mind having a bit of the eye bag look. But I think towards the end of my holiday, I definitely was applying, conce applying concealer under my eyes because I was getting some serious baggage going on there. So basically what I like to do is grab my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade uh, Medium Moin. And I'm just going to go in and apply that to the inner corners under the eyes and just kind of in like a little triangle to help blend that bronzer right there in because it can look a bit stark and harsh. Then I go in and conceal the lids, conceal any of this stray head hairs going on, and take it down my nose to highlight, and then I just go in and conceal anywhere on the face that needed a bit more coverage. I mean, we're doing pretty well at the moment. I like to conceal around the nose area too, and then I'd like to kind of chisel my cheekbones out a bit more. Get rid of that baby right there, and then I just kind of go under the line of bronzer and just kind of highlight there to kind of give a bit of structure to my cheeks, give a bit of contourness to it. So I'm just going in with the same beauty sponge. I know my tools are very minimal. Basically, I had like I think I had like three brushes and then one beauty sponge, and that was like it. So just. Blending it under the eyes, on the lids, up towards the brow, and then I'd go around the edges, just softly patting in that concealer, trying not to disturb what's kind of sitting on top. Okay, next I'm going to grab my pressed powder. So I used my Eclipse one, as you can see it's like nearly run out. So I did bring my Fit Me one as well. Um, just, oops, it's coming out a bit just because this one has a little bit more in it, so if I did run out of this one, I still had this one to go. Plus, I brought my little Eclipse, whoop. <laughs> plus I brought my little Eclipse, like, what do you call this? Powder puff little thing with it, and I used this to like bake the pressed powder onto my skin. So what I do is I just kind of swill it in a little bit, swiggle, swill it, that kind of motion. Then I just kind of press a light layer of that powder under the eyes uh, anywhere basically we concealed so highlighting as well as, as um, setting that powder at the same time and literally this stayed all day like I can't express to you like I am usually one for my makeup to slide around but this just stayed in place all night all day it was the best thing Okay, now to like change up my utensils finally, I'd go in with my Chi Chi bronzer brush and I'd take my uh, bronzer from Micellin and as we can see, it is like extremely run out like that is basically like, there's basically nothing left in that, let's be real. I'm just salvaging the rest. 
So I just take a little bit and I dust it over the bronzed areas just around my face to kind of set that bronzer in place and just give it a bit of extra pop, especially because my foundation is quite light at this stage. So I try to bronze up where I can and bring it onto the, uh, the nose area. I love a good kind of like burnt kind of nose look. Obviously not actual burnt, like no, I don't want to do that to my skin, but like to replicate that where you've got that gorgeous sun kiss look over the nose, like you've just had a healthy dose of vitamin D. It's the best look. I just, oh, I love it so much. Then with that same bronzer, I'm going to take a little eyeshadow fluffy brush. This one is from Zoeva. It's the 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. And all I do is kind of just like swirl it in the pan, tap up any excess. Then I go in and I just run that through the crease, uh, just the outer portion. I just do the top part of the lids, I wouldn't bring it down the bottom because I just want to kind of open the eyes up a bit more. Then what I do before I move on to like the glow is I do my brows. So the brow brushes I basically brought was my uh, angled spoolie to give the shape back to them again. So I just brush them upwards. And then I just brought my angled um, brow brush. And I also brought along my Master Brow Pro palette in the shade Deep Brown. I didn't bother bringing my soft brown one. Just because it's another thing to bring and I can get by with just the one shade. I mean, I'll just use a lighter hand on the start of my brow. And basically, I just fill them in like I usually do. Just give them a bit of shape. I don't do anything too structured or intense. Like, I won't carve out my brows or anything like that. Because I didn't have time really to do it. And I could not be bothered to do it when I was away. So, probably the most I would do is this. Like, fill them in with a brow powder. Otherwise, I'd literally, on my really minimalistic makeup days, is I'd just go through with a clear brow gel that I brought along with me to keep them in place, just to kind of fluff them up a little bit. If I had had my brow pencil, I would have used that, but that has run out, so I just resorted to my brow powder for most of the trip. And if I was like also feeling a little lazy, I'd just do the front part of my brow, run the powder down the uh, bottom part like through the arch here and then I just fill in the tail of my brow and then that was it I wouldn't even bother giving structure to the top of my brow just because I like it looking a bit more fluffier and natural then I'd grab my Ardell clear brow gel and I just run this through oh my gosh guys like literally I just had this flashback to when I was in like Plitvis Lakes in Croatia so like there's this uh, hike you could do over there, it's called the Military Hike, and basically it's a really intense hike, like one of the most intense climbs I've ever done in my life. So you basically climb up this really, 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 really massive mountain, it takes about like eight hours or so, it took us nine hours. Basically, um, when you're climbing up, it's all incline, like there's literally no rest, it's just total incline the whole way up. It took us about five hours to get up there, then we stayed up there for a few hours, and then it took us three hours to get back down. Um, but basically we met this cute, absolutely gorgeous dog along the way. So in Greece and Croatia, like basically in Europe there's a lot of strays. There was this beautiful stray dog and it reminded me of the dog from Wizard of Oz, like the Toto dog. Oh, he was gorgeous and he stayed with us the whole time. The whole way up, for like literally five hours, he would just walk with us. He'd hang around the back to make sure all of us were getting up the top, like whoever kind of lagged behind, he'd walk behind with them to like give them company and make sure they were okay oh but he was such a gorgeous dog and oh it was so fitting like he just stayed up there the whole time he was frolicking in the grass it was the most beautiful experience i've never met such a, lo a loyal dog in my entire life oh like that was a moment i'll never forget it was that beautiful beautiful dog okay last few things so basically for like a bit of a glow i liked the whole golden like goddessy look especially for Greece. So basically I'm using my Master Chrome highlight in the shade, I think it's Molten Gold, in Molten Gold. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful highlight. What I do is I use my angled fluffy brush to apply the like, highlight. So I just use a little bit at the beginning and I just kind of work my way up from, from there basically. So I apply it to the high points of the face. 
very like a soft glow. I just use a little bit. Oh, it's the most beautiful glow, guys. Oh! So I applied it basically all over, all over the bronzed area. So forehead, like outer rims, right in the front, down the nose. And then I'd go over my bronzed area here. If you guys have acne, not the best idea to put a highlight on your acne spot, like spots, areas. But I do love how it gives that bit of a bronze glow. So then what I do is I take my little fluffy eyeshadow brush. And what I do is I just swirl it into the high highlight, tap off the excess. And then I just apply that like a little wash over my lids and just apply a bit of highlight to the brow bone too and I'd go in usually and just apply this all over my lips so sometimes I'd put like a lip balm on and then go and apply this to the lips as like a kind of golden lipstick just because it's so pretty don't mind my peeled lips guys they're super dry then I'd go in and apply a bit more to the very high points. Just these cheekbone areas, so the very high point. Because I am one for a gorgeous like glow. Then for like a final touch, I go in with my All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. And that's basically my routine. I would sometimes go in with like my mascara and do my lashes, but Rarely, on the rare occasion, I'm pre actually prefer having bare lashes. I don't know what it has been lately. I just think beautiful skin and like less focus on like the lashes and the eyes. I just feel like that's what I've been loving lately. So I personally don't really go in with mascara, especially because I find it just gets irritating, like when it runs under the eyes and stuff like that. But I did pack it in my uh, we call it my travel bag. Uh, I'm still tired guys, I'm still going over the jet lag. I got back two days ago and I'm like so ready to get back into filming heaps of videos for you. My aim is to two, film like two videos a week or so. That's my goal. We shall see how I carry that out. So this here guys is my routine. This is what I went, got myself around Europe with. It's super easy, very minimalistic. You can do it in literally five minutes and you are done. I did this in a real rush in the mornings or I took my time sometimes and just did a bit more extra care with everything. But it's so easy to achieve guys. You don't need many products at all. That's all I brought along with me, which is like amazing because usually I'm one to bring like a whole like shit ton of makeup like literally like eye palettes brushes like different types of like mascaras different types of lashes different types of like brushes of the same thing like I just brought so many different things that I just didn't end up using so this time I was like to myself no I am going to pack minimalistically because I don't want to have all, carry all this stuff around that I won't end up using and I really like how everything worked out like I had enough room for all my other stuff I used every single product in this case which I was so proud of and I liked the result of my makeup looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a real chit chat one. I know it was probably a really long one as well. But I do hope you enjoyed it. Got a few tips out of it. If you do have any recommendations for my next upcoming videos. Please leave your comments down below. DM me on Instagram. You guys feel free to check out my personal Instagram account. If you'd like to see where I went on my travels. Get some ideas for where you'd like to travel to next. And yeah leave me some love down below. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in my next video. It was so great talking to you again. I've missed you all so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.